if this is true, it is a welcome development and good news to doctors and a boy people. This will stop Jackpa, enhance the Naira. A boy state governor purchased luxury vehicles for doctors, urges other governors to follow suits. Other governors are urged to follow suits. And who is saying this? Renault or Mokri. This is stop Jackpa and enhance the Naira. Renault or Mokri applauds a boy state governor for purchasing luxury vehicles for doctors. Former PDP presidential aide Reno Mokri has praised the recent actions of a boy state governor, Francis Mwifuru, who was recently affirmed by the Supreme Court. The governor made headlines for purchasing luxury vehicles for doctors working in general hospitals and procuring 52 ambulances for emergency services. Omokri applauds the move, highlighting it, highlighting it as a strategy to discourage the Jackpot syndrome among doctors and encourages other governors to follow suit. He particularly singles out Governor Mwifuru's innovative approach to motivate doctors and improve the value of the Naira. The governor of Lagos and other governors could learn a thing or two from a boy governor, Francis Mwifuru's approach to ending the Jackpot syndrome amongst doctors. Governor Mwifuru bought SUVs for all doctors working at government-owned general hospitals in a boy. That is the type of out of the box thinking that Nigeria needs. Omokri emphasizes the positive impact on currency value. Doctors who are paid a decent salary and provided with housing and vehicles by their employers, as is being done in a boy, are less likely to japa. And he even patronized assembled in Nigeria vehicles even better. He's motivating doctors and improving the value of the Naira. In, his, in one stroke, well done, Mr. Governor. So you know that uh, it will help the Naira. The Naira that Inubu had destroyed and you have never said anything about it. But you came out and told us that uh, the subsidy removal and the Naira flutes by Tinubu is the right thing to do. But now, in one breath, you are still saying that uh, you know that uh, this singular act of all the, this uh, Governor of uh, Bonny State will help the Naira that uh, Tinubu has destroyed further yes that is a, a mockery for you but let's go back to the dog uh, the governor himself okay uh this man has not really been in the news since he came on board you know umai really took the stage instead of this man after he left so with this that he has done of course if you do something fine uh it will be projected like we always say, they say, oh, uh, they should try to regulate uh, social media. They should do this to social media, do this to social media. It does not work that way. If you do the right thing, the same social media will blow your trumpet before you know it. And that is exactly what we are doing. If you do bad thing, that is when you'll be afraid of social media because <laughs> you, they will help your ministry. Honestly, they will help your ministry. It is very disrespectful to think the problem of an average doctor in this country is to drive SUV. It's sad people are applauding this move. The hospitals are empty, no drugs, no good equipment to work, to work with. And the same people who are at risk are jubilating that the doctors have been given cars, driving SUV while other staff are suffering. And the patients are dying. Needlessly, what's a country we really need to reset our brains to meet the current reality? You are 100% right. The people applauding the move, doing so based on their poverty mindset, it is an insult to assume that every doctor that Jaguar did so for want of material things such as SUV. People like Renault Omokri with cognitive dissonance and disjointed view and understanding of almost everything is ailing the move because that is what matters to him in life people want to save lives and can't bear the sight of losing lives due to government inadequacies and lackadaisical approach to the people's needs no you are wrong for faulting this gesture even without the suvs drugs and salaries 
of other staff will still remain the same. Now, motivation for those considered critical personnel is key because even when the drugs are provided, the drugs won't prescribe itself without diagnosis. What you should be saying is that the new initiative should equally affect both the state of the hospital and other staff, including paying all of them living wages. A scenario where drugs and facilities are built with few doctors around to handle would amount to nothing. Yes, everything should be attended to. That's the way I see it. So after this one, what next? That should be the question. That after this, what next? Hmm. Nigeria system is just like a human body. If the head is sick, the whole body will take note of it. Our leaders must make everything work. Buying cars cannot change the high prices of goods and services or reduce the prices of fuel. Some will sell it and see Jakba. Between the cars and Jakba, many will still choose Jakba because Nigeria is somewhat irredeemably bad. Irredeemably bad. That is what somebody is saying. Mm. Nothing should be left in isolation. 